Okay, today we're going to diagnose and replace a dodgy front wheel bearing on a BA Falcon. This is my wife's XR6 Turbo. She's not too keen on it anymore. She reckons it's starting to get a bit too bogan, but oh, I like it because it's bogan. So we've got to keep the maintenance up to date so she has no complaint and we don't need to replace it. All right, you can hear that humming sound coming from one of the wheel bearings. Which one is it? Well, when I turn to the right, it gets a little bit louder. When I turn to the left, it goes quiet. And that tells me that when I turn to the right, all the weight of the car shifts onto that left-hand wheel bearing, which makes it louder. And when I turn to the left, all the weight of the car shifts onto the right-hand wheel bearing and it goes quiet, taking the pressure off the left-hand one. So there we know the left side is the dodgy side. Okay, first thing we do, remove the front wheel. All right, next up we need to remove this here, the front brake caliper. It's just got two bolts behind it. There's one there, and there's one up the top. There. I'll do those guys, and it'll come off. Okay, brake caliper's off. He's just zippy tied up there, so he's out of the way. Discovered that we have absolutely nothing left on our brake pads, so that's fantastic. Anyway, off it comes. And we're in here. Yeah, listen, listen to that. All right, let's pull off the dust cap. All right, dust cap is off. Came off pretty easy with a flathead screwdriver. Now you need to grab your 36 mil socket. For that big sucker in the middle there. All right, that nut was pretty tight. I used a, a half inch and a Big bit of pipe to get the sucker off. <clears throat> yeah, I need some coaxing. All right, give it some tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Off she comes. Uh. And there needs more tapping. All right. All right, tap that off, and it's a bit ordinary, so I'll hit that with a bit of light grade sandpaper and some WD-40. Beautiful. And another discovery like the uh, worn out brake pads. That lower ball joint is stuffed, as you can see. Now, yesterday I went down to Burke and Gary Auto and I picked up a whole wheel bearing kit. Burke and Gary Auto spares, north side of Brisbane. Hey, good guys. There's a new bolt and an entire new hub assembly. There she is, unwrapped. And oh, a series of wiggles, and she will go on. She's slowly going on. There she goes. Oop, bearing. I'll fix that. Okay, all tapped in. I just use the old bit of bearing that came off the back. That fit over pretty well. Do have a tap with a mallet. It's all back together. Well, put the bolt on. Okay, we've got the old manual out. That's suspension. Wheel bearing nut. 255 newton meters. Okay, so 
Super cheap torque wrench. Let's go. Alright, that nut's torqued up to 255 newton meters. Now we'll chuck the dust cap back on and we'll put the rotor back on. Dust cap and rotor are back on. Now I'll just cut that little zippy tie and put the uh, calipers back on. Dust cover's on, rotor's on, calipers are on. Just need to chuck the on, the wheel on, and then we're off.